we knew that God had something in store for this particular piece of land. This is a signal to the city of Minden that there's a new place here in town and the Fuller Center is going to continue to build houses right here until we're built out. build. We've had uh, several hundred people from across the country to come in to build uh, eight new houses and to rehab seven houses all in this neighborhood. We began planning this well over a year ago uh, and in fact uh, Millard and I talked about this very idea in 2006, five years ago. We had to build the subdivision. It was nothing but a pecan orchard. It, it's necessary because we knew what the substandard housing inventory, if you will, was like in Webster Parish. The need was here, it's still here. It will not go away until we eliminate it. But this is a giant step toward helping us realize a, a greater public awareness of what we're doing to eliminate pub, uh, poverty housing. For those people who can't afford, who are so poor in poverty that they have to deal with public housing, that's one thing. But these people have been working mostly in the service industries all their lives. And for some reason, banks look at that as a negative instead of a positive. And I'm glad we're here in faith to take them out of that and give them the opportunity to come to where they are today. The Legacy Build has been an incredible experience for not just the homeowners, but for the volunteers. You know, because I'm, I'm faithful, go to church every Sunday and whatnot, and it's just it's nice to see a group of people together that all want to do something and have a common good. So they showed me how to nail, and they showed me how to do some other things, how to um, clear off the wood to put up the, the, J, the J channels. <laughs> Today, the world is just so cruel, you know? And then you see all these people out here volunteering, you know? It's just so neat to see so many people here helping. Within less than 24 hours, it has rained, the temperature has dropped, <laughs> people still way. working. I know. They haven't stopped. I mean, you can hear them sometimes late, late, late at night out there, still hammering and beating. Working. God's working. Working. We want this subdivision to be a, a beacon to the city of Menden and to all of Webster Parish as what can happen for uh, low-income, moderate-income families if, uh, if God's people just put their heart to it. Three, four, oh, yay! I would like to thank everyone, everybody, that helped build my house for me and my family. You have no idea how much it means to us. Whether you just walked by, looked, <laughs> said hi, congratulations, good luck, whatever. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You have no idea. The fact that, <laughs> that you all don't know me no more than the next person and you gave up your life to come here for a week to help all of us do this. I mean, you didn't have to, but you did. And it's just a blessing. And I thank you all so much. You do not have to do it, but you do. And I thank you. We accomplished a tremendous amount here this week. The Fuller Center of Webster is deeply humbled that we have been able to host the third annual Millard Fuller Legacy Bill. We need more donations, uh, but we are so grateful for those that have given and for the financial support that we've experienced. We trust and pray and have all the faith that within a very short time, every one of these houses will be paid for, 
and uh, we will be well on our way to uh, realizing a greater future for Webster Parish Fuller Center for Housing. We are interested in, in continuing our faith to work our faith in a place like this, at a time like this, for those people in need. It's just so awesome. God's here and He's working.